vagina by the neck. I didn't mean to point directly at you. <laughs> I, know. I, I, I just, I'm living my life. I'm living, still living with my parents, um, which is, uh, they're, very, they're very lovely, they're very supportive. Um, they're very supportive when I came out, you know, we, we, we love you, Andrew. Uh, we support you, whoever you are, whatever you want to do in life. We'll always be there for you, and, and we'll always accept you. And do you know who else will accept you? The co-op, yeah. <laughs> So a few people got to the punchline before. <laughs> the ones paying attention. Old stars. Are you, are you a student? Maria, are you, are you a student? I, I am, yeah. You are a student, right? Yeah. Fantastic. But I've gone back to be a student. Yeah. You've gone back to be a student. So what were you before then? Um, I worked at the co-op. You worked at the co-op? Did you actually? No, I'm not. <laughs> Oh, you work for the council. I can I cannot understand you leaving. The council's never get it easy, do they? Uh, just the, all the council get kind of branded under the. Was it Wokingham? You say? Wokingham, yeah. Wokingham. Are they a good council? Uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Is that other council a good council? No. Uh, <laughs> Is any? Uh, we have the council members in tonight. Oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> with you, Freddie, I'm assuming, from the very... <laughs> from the person who's very keen to dob you in. Freddie! <laughs> Freddie! Yes, Freddie, what do you do? Uh, work in Are you working... The Estates Park. The Estates Park of the Council. I don't know why, that's fine. <laughs> so, we just left with... What's your name? It's Mandy. Mandy, lovely to meet you, Mandy. You're very sparkly tonight. You've, you've outdone me. You've, I thought I dressed up for this occasion. Clearly not. And they have different standards. And what do you do, Mandy? I work in customer service. Oh wow! I will give you a break then. I will. <laughs> Sorry, Mandy. That was uh, yeah. Uh, my, my parents. My, my, I love my parents. Um, I don't have much to complain about. You know, they're they're my counsel effectively. Any issues, I just bring it up with them, um, and they just usually tell me to piss off generally. Um, my th I've inherited a lot of things from my dad. Um, Mainly medical conditions, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> he just drops them into conversation, like, oh, that's hereditary. You better have down the line. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. <laughs> He's got so many medical conditions, we watch Holby City with bingo cards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm type 2 diabetes away from a full house. It's a great thing. Okay. <laughs> Perhaps the worst condition he has, and I can see some fellow sufferers in tonight. So, my, my dad is bald. <laughs> He has given me this hairline. Oh I know it's getting worse because it gets a bigger reaction every time. Look at that, that's huge! You could sell that for advertising space. You can see McDonald's have got in there first though. And I have to str I, I struggle, I struggle coming to terms with a bald head because I think fashion and boldness are very much intertwined. You know, dressed like this with a bald head, and like you, good sir, we look like intellectuals, right? <laughs> we look like we do the Times crossword. Your table are finding that very amusing. <laughs> I'm offended on your behalf. You know, we look like we do the Times crossword, you know, we look like intellectuals. But I like football, and if you go to a football match with a football shirt on, bit portly, bald head, you look like a racist. <laughs> so on the one hand, I'm doing the Times crossword, and on the other hand, I'm looking at the Times crossword, thinking there's a few too many black squares there. <laughs> I have to walk that line for the rest of my life. No, it's all right. um, uh, I am not wearing a watch. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to leave you in a minute, and we'll get we'll hear a fantastic headliner. Um, so I just, I just want to quickly talk about Christmas, because I revolutionised my Christmas this year, um, and I just want to pass it on to all of you as like a parting gift. Uh, because obviously the main issue of Christmas is not enough chocolate in the advent calendars. That's the, that's the thing everyone's thinking about. Oh, not enough chocolate in the advent calendars. Oh, we're in debt, we can't afford Christmas. Oh yeah, but the chocolate, the chocolate in the advent calendars. Um, so my solution to this is quite simple. Get 24 advent calendars, 